हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो ऑन माय चैनल होप यू आर एंजॉइंग ऑल माय वीडियोस ऑन द चैनल मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट अ न्यू फीचर रिलीज ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर बी आई सो लेट्स है डीपर लुक एट दैट हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एबस्ट्रक्ट थी सीरीज and in today's video we are going to discuss one of the most awaited feature which has made its way to september 2025 is tax user defined function yes now we will be able to create our own custom functions in tax and will be able to reuse them just like any other programming language without any delay let's jump onto the release notes and look at what user defined functions are and then try it out on power bi desktop i am here on power bi september 2025 feature release summary and if i scroll down little i can see lot of features has been released this month and one of the feature which we are looking forward is dax user defined functions preview yes this feature is now coming to the preview we might have to enable it also in the setting and i will showcase you that setting in a short while so let me click on that and look at the release notes power bi has long supported custom functions in power query however now dax user defined functions provide similar capabilities dax udfs allow you to define custom functions with parameters just like you would have defined functions or methods in programming instead of copy pasting chunk of logic across multiple majors you can now write your logic once and can reuse it everywhere This means we can increase the reusability of complex code. Complex problem can be encapsulated by multiple reusable functions. Functions can even refer to other functions. This way your logic can become easier to write, understand, maintain and debug. Whether you are working on a complex model or just want cleaner or more maintainable code, DAX UDFs are for you. Up to this point, the usability of DAX logic was limited to calculations code. and if you want to know more about calculation group and what all it can do please watch some of my previous videos or you can also watch my 20 hour video dax udfs however unlike calculations group can be parameterized so we can parameterize and we will see some examples very soon getting started with dax udfs so you have been given one example here first of all the syntax function function name equals to in the parenthesis the parameter so parameters after that this arrow sign which indicates that the body of the function is starting and then you can have the body of the function one example has been given define and after that function at text amount and then the arrow sign to indicate the body of the function is coming amount 1.1 and then evaluate code this evaluate code is specially for the dex query view where you can go ahead and test it out you will also be able to use this inside the majors or the column if you like add x11 and is going to return the value multiplying by 1.1 you can see this example and then you know type checking and all those have been defined but there is a one more better article which has been given at the end of it and i'll go to that article which is dax user defined function preview article and i'm also going to provide the link of this article along with the previous article into the description dax user defined functions let you package dax logic and reuse it like any other dax function udf introduce a new function keyword comma optional parameter scalar table and reference and type checking helpers that makes authoring safer and clearer after you define udf is user defined functions you can use it in major calculated column visual calculations or even in user defined function this you can use it in other user defined functions users can centralize business rules improve maintainability and evolve calculations safely over time functions are first class objects you can create and manage in dex query view and timdel view and they can be viewed in model explorer under function notes which we'll explore a little later how to enable so you have to go to file options and setting options and then select preview features select dex user defined function and click on okay we'll explore that where you can define dex query view timdel view and we can use model experience to view the existing functions under the functions node we have been given the syntax here define function function name parameters parameter type and the function body same example has been given but when you scroll down 
you will see something which is really interesting and which I would like you to know before you start creating these functions is parameters. So let's understand parameter a little more in details. Dex UDFs, user defined functions, can accept zero or more parameters. When you define parameters for a UDF, you can optionally specify the type for the parameter. Type, what type means any value, scalar, table, or any ref. Subtype, variant, int, decimal, double, string, date, time, boolean, numeric, etc. Parameter mode, val, and expression. So these things you can specify. You can include all, some, or none of these int types parameter or make your function safer or more predictable at the call side. If you omit everything to just to write a parameter, it behaves like any value well, meaning the argument evaluate immediately at the call time. This is a useful or simple function. Types. Type defines the category of the argument your parameter accept and where it pass the value or an expression. Okay, value type evaluated immediately. Eager evaluation when functions called and resulting value passed into the function. Any type except all scalar or table. Scalar except scalar values. Table except a table. The expression type. This argument passes an unevaluated expression lazy evaluation. This function decide when and in what context to evaluate it. This requires for the reference parameters and useful when you need to control the filter context. And we'll learn this later one. Any ref except reference like column table calendar so means you can use any ref now when i come down i'll just skip this part subtypes which could be variant integer decimal double etc defines what exactly it contains parameter mode controls when and where the parameter expression is evaluated where eager evaluation the expression is evaluated on or before invoking the function resulting value is then passed into the function this is common for simple scalar or table inputs this is the default if you omit parameter mode for a parameter. We will learn this. Expression lazy evaluation. The expression is evaluated inside the function potentially different context, row context or filter context and possibly multiple times if referenced multiple times inside the iterations. This is required for reference parameters and useful when you need to control evaluation context. The scalar type can either be val or expression. Use well when you use scalar evaluated once the caller context. Use expression when you want to defer and possibly apply the context in the function. Any type must be expr or expression in the reference column table major. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and try this out on Power BI desktop. So I am here on the Power BI desktop and I am using the file which I have used in my 20 hours video and this is one of the file which was the outcome of that 20 hour video end to end well with visual calc. I have recorded quite a few things post that on this one. So maybe you can get this from the GitHub and try it out. And I will directly jump onto the Dex query view here to start the today's journey of the user defined functions. I am here on the Dex query view and let me add a new query from the bottom. The teal color with the plus icon. And here I am going to define my first user defined function and we'll try to test it here in the Dex query view. I can bring the code directly from the notes. So let's copy this code, go back to the Power BI desktop and paste it. You might have seen this feature. This is one of the announcements which came some time back that you can directly go and add things which are defined here. But let me do one thing. Let me remove this evaluate below it and let me click on that. And it's asking me to update the model. So it's going to define that function and where this function will go. So if you look at the right hand side, once this been created, you will see this function has changed from 0 to 1 and add function is already available. Now I can go ahead and test that out. So evaluate add dex 10. Okay, let me try this out and run it. So it will become 11 because it has multiplied by 1 dot. What I have done it, I have called it twice. You can observe that I have used this function twice, one for value 10 and one for value 20 and getting output as 11 and 22. Same function, I can use multiple times. Can I use it here? Can I also use it my majors or my columns, something like that? 
I would like to try that out also that can I use it with my measures so instead of 10 let me give use it once inside the add text function and second time I'll use net as it so that we can compare the values when we come back so let's check this out so you can see the add text net value is 1.1 time of the net as you know we can use the same function multiple times so I could try add text cross and cross major also so let's try to evaluate it and as you can see the values 1.1 times wherever we are using the add text function so this is the simpler function we would definitely would like to start creating our own complex functions and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function which will actually give you a little more idea about what we can do with this first of all what I want to do is I want to define a function which can give me MTD month till date value what I'm going to do is let me remove till this part here I'm going to change it to get MTD and let me define as as scalar numeric I can have measures MI it's a scalar and type is numeric and in the next line let me use calculate MI and what function we use for MTD dates MTD and what we require for MTD if you have watched my previous series we need to have a date table mark as a date table join with the table or the fact table which contains this data and this should be a one to many single directional join preferably so I have a date table which I'm going to use my function body is completed and it is suggesting that I should add a new function so let me use that update model add a new function it's realized it's a new function look at the count one let's click on this update model update it and there is no exclamation sign it means the function is correct there is exclamation mark start coming it means there is some problem now we would like to go ahead and use this so I am going back here on my visualization view and add a new page and in this new page first of all let me take date from the date table and put it in the empty canvas it should create a table visual for me and now I would like to bring in the net major the actual major which I am doing the calculation and convert it back to the table visual let me do uh, arrange data for me off so that it don't arrange it and let me see do I have an MTD function already so I have net MTD let's look at it it's total MTD net MTD one is calculate net dates MTD date update so let me create the new measures using this function and so for that what I'm going to do is I can click on my major table and after that I can see inside the table tool the option for new major let me click on that and after that let me define a new major let me increase the size a little bit so that you can easily see it let me call it MTD UDF and let me call the function get MTD and it require one value that is net and press enter and let me bring that inside the visualization now what you will observe that my values are same as net not same as MTD and the reason for that is what we have studied there this type if you remember we need to have a change here let me showcase you that in documentation so here we need to have use expression not the well which is default so this is default if you omit the parameter mode as a parameter because it is evaluated first let's go ahead and do this change so let's use any ref and expression mi as any ref and expression any kind of value and expression and now it gives you an option to overwrite function function is already there let's run it and everything goes fine no errors let's go back and here you see the values have changed and they start matching with the values now there is some problem here let me sort it on the dates and now you can see the values is adding up and you will see MTD which is getting a reset on the start of the month and then again continuously increasing till the month end 
So we are able to use it and the same function I can go ahead and use for let's say gross also and I'll get the value for the gross also. So in this manner what I can do is I can go ahead and define the function which contain the calculations. While defining function I can use the other user defined function and can create a complex logic if required. So why don't you go ahead and experiment out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comment, press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my new videos. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you.